Hi, my name is Jun Chung. I'm master of Taekwondo and Hapkido. And I was kids. I was seven years old. I started with Taekwondo. And first beginning, I was really a, like a disciplined part. I was a, really couldn't handle much. And then I quit when I was red belt. And I have a single mother, and she pushed me in the join the dojang again, which is training again. And then I kept uh, training hard, and I had met really good instructor. His name Master Joe, and he gave me a lot of energy, a lot of you know quality instruct instruction, and becomes I loved it and I stay almost eight hours practice per day and my child time which is uh, my age seven to fourteen I just work out every day and I went junior high school tournament I got many uh, first place and also high school I've been com competing a lot and then I get a lot of winning and become confidence. And then I have a chance to come to America. And then I was dream about have great studio someday. I want to make lots of money someday. That's how I was dream when I was kids. And come to America teaching the martial art. That's my dream, which is Taekwondo. And then I came here first beginning time, which is I worked with the Masters Hill Cho uh my dad. I was training with the Master Sio Choi was the best Hapkido master at that time, which is 1968, 69, 70, and he was one of the famous instructor. Even Bruce Lee, even Chuck Norris, all the instructors they come train with him. So I'm lucky I have found him and I started with him many years, and I learned from him Hapkido, from him Hapkido. 1968, 69, 70 is one of the great master named Shio Choi and he's Hapkido Taekwondo teacher. So I studied underneath him and learned from his style. And at that time I met Chuck Norris come over our school training and who else? David Moon, which is uh, great instructing in Mexico City and even Byung Yu, Mr. Yu came over also training with us. And then uh, even Bruce Lee once in a while he come with a train with my master and private lesson. And then time change and my master is quit of uh, continued teaching. He gave up teaching and I took over his school and running the school. And I, uh, when I opened my own school, 1972, down the Rosemary. And I worked very hard. I get up early in the morning and throw flyers. And then within six months, I have about 120 students. And then I work very hard training and learning and then also teaching. And then, uh, and I went to Mexico, uh, Mexico City, and I was supposed to give a demonstration. And I met Chong Norris again there, and he tried to sell his school. So uh, he asked me to, if you're interested in take over his school. So I said, yes, yeah. so I do that. And then he wants to make movie, so. He gave uh, his school to me and then run the school. So I run the school and many years until now, which is about 35 years I run the same school. And then uh, uh, 1975, the Korean production came over to make a, a motion picture called uh, Visit to America, which is uh, one of the master come to look for his brother 
and his brothers uh, work with a syndicate, which is a bad guy, uh, and then uh, I work with that movie, martial movie, and then becomes the movie was a hit in Asia, Seoul, Korea, and Asia, China, all the big hits. So I want Korea to make more movies and action, karate movies. That time a lot of a kung fu movies come out. Nine, that, that's about 75, 76, 77. All the kung fu movies come out. So I work in overseas, many movies. And, and then now, uh, the movie was a uh, visit to America. They changed the title of Bruce Lee Fight Back from Gravy. Grave. Bruce Lee Fight Back from Grave. That's they changed the title. But even they low budget that time, but they released theater, uh, many theaters in the USA. So kind of a success movie. And then a lot of uh, fans they uh, remember the movie, which is Bruce Lee, Fight Back from the Way. And then, uh, 1980, 85, I made the movie uh, Ninja Turf. This is my own production and an action movie. It was Philip Ree and James Rue, Bill Wallace, all of the casting we had, action, all the martial art people, so we made a uh, Ninja Turf. That, that movie really uh, action packed, so really successful movie in whole whole universe. And then I continue make movie with uh, Street Soldier, Silent Assassin, and then recently I made a movie, uh, Maximum Case Fighting. Maximum Case Fighting, which is a mixed martial arts uh, movie. So it's coming out next year. Which is in nineteen two thousand seven, uh, two thousand eight, probably March, and uh, released all USA and also form. <clears throat> I enjoy to make movie because I like to make martial art movie. Of course, movies uh, many different way, but especially I like to make martial art story movie, which is. Uh, they have a, you know, good and bad and good martial art, bad martial art also, you know, uh, martial art use a bad way, martial art use a good way, so there's a lot of good stories we can make uh, martial movies. And because I started the martial art many years. And before uh, in Korea, Taekwondo was a very, uh, like, a martial artist, which is a uh, no sports, and which is about 1975, 1960, all martial art is, uh, uh, Taekwondo is more martial art focus instead of sports. Nowadays, we do more sports instead of martial art. And that's one thing I'm not really happy about. Uh, sports change sports way. Taekwondo is uh, martial art which is uh, they have respect, honor, and discipline. It's, it's not only fancy in the point fight, and it's more uh, deep inside, uh, meaningful, which means people have a discipline and courage, and also they have uh, like, uh, respect. But since the sports coming out, the respect action, they will uh, miss it a lot. And that's uh, how sports, uh, martial arts change the sports. I kind of uh, not much interesting about sports. I like to teach martial art. Sports is only winning and also no humbleness. And I think uh, martial art have more. Uh, humbleness and also more beyond the, beyond the limit you training which is uh, your spirit yes and these days uh, mm, 
martial uh, like special taekwondo organization. There are so many different organizations which were uh, taekwondo organization, international organization, and also uh, Korea Cookie One organization, Korea taekwondo organization, and America California. So many organizations, and they all want to have good things, but they're competing each other too much, and then try to competing become uh, they want to have more members their size they become more uh, more uh, less discipline and to me and they just get together organize and they own benefit instead of benefit for all martial art people it's taekwondo is the martial art, uh, the limit to me, which is hand and feet. So nowadays we are watching uh, like a, -ju -ju a lot of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu or Jiu Jitsu or Japanese Jiu Jitsu, very popular. They combine with Taekwondo people need that Jiu Jitsu training because on the ground, ground fight, I think we are, we don't have much power. Once you somebody take you down, you are totally lost. That's why I like this. I'm training right now Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. But uh, it's all right now is uh, martial art towards mixed martial art instead of just one martial art. You do karate, you do taekwondo, you do hapkido, aikido, home learning more around and teaching the student Jiu Jitsu too. Very good. And also stick fighting, also uh, kendo fighting, also nunchak. More your knowledge you put into your school, I think more most students they enjoy it more instead of one style. Uh, this is best. No, everything is best. All the martial art is best. Not only one best. More you know, more you are better. Instead of only you know. A lot of Korean taekwondo instructors, ah, oh, taekwondo is best. I'm sure somebody fight with a hand, and they cannot fight. It, like uh, one of the Taekwondo guys fight <coughs> and K1. And what happened? He knocked out with a one punch. Somebody punched one punch to his face and out. Because they never see the punch move. That's why he's, he's uh, blind. He have to, you know, especially in a fight with the K1, he have to know everything. Kickboxing, Taekwondo, boxing, grappling. Everything you have to learn. That's all pure martial art these days. Uh, I like the traditional martial art always. They have a lot of respect each other and also very uh, humbleness and they show a lot of spiritual. And that's how I like to see the future. And I don't want to change my you know, curriculum to the like easy workout. This workout means we are support the students and they learn, they're coming learning discipline. This discipline, discipline expert, expert is the most important part for martial art. You don't train, you don't practice, you're not going to learn anything. And even you learn, you cannot keep in your in your uh, mind. Just learning and not going to do anything. Inside your head, you bring into your spirit. That is real martial art training. You learn something in your head, you have to tr practice, become your spiritual. That's what I believe, martial art. Anybody can kick and punch, but how much you have a spirit in there, you punch and kick, that's different. One kick is very powerful and strong and spirit is there. One kick just flipping. Flipping, no power. That's why we need a lot of discipline to practice, become spiritual. I think that's to a good martial art training. Uh, I'm not really involved in any, uh, any organization. I'm having my own uh, people together who go, we're united martial art 
organization. I want to like the all martial art together. That's why I like to learn many different things. And you know, then you have more knowledge. Knowledge is power. Martial art knowledge, that's what you can have. Uh, yeah, one thing. Uh, about 15 years ago, I had uh, uh, drive my Corvette and in Korean town, which is a Los Angeles rough town, and four afternoon, and I parked the car. And then we went to try to go went to video video shop. And these two Hispanic guys come close to me. He asked me, give me your car. And I said, get out of here. And I push him. And this guy put him up, shirt, and pull the gun out. Point, try to click uh, 45, pull it back. And then as soon as he, he two guys, one guy is next to me, you guys, one guy is about five feet from. I kicked the gun away and gun sh shot my leg and, and then I fight this guy, two of them. And then and he, he, he dropped the gun and I got shot at the same time. And then the other guy jumped on my back, I flipped him, he fell down and I punched him. The other guy tried the gun and run and I chasing them and I realize my legs are uh, stiff so I look at it and my legs all bloody come out so I was intense uh, my oh wow, I got shot so I look at my foot and shake you know twisting around very lucky I go through my big skin through uh, bullet go through uh, my skin, so not damage any my foot, any bone, anything. So I'm very lucky. And when I see the gun point, and shot I fight, not fight. That's my mind in there. But this guy pulling, jerking his uh, 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 gun, you know, pull back like that, and then it's come automatic. I kick his guns. And that's what I feel martial art helped me, a tremendous power to me. So I never forget that. That's why I love the martial art. That saved my life. True. So I went to the hospital about uh, 10 days. And the doctor said, you're a miracle, miracle, miracle man because you don't get any hit the bone. So, which is very, very lucky. And it gives a lot of tremendous power, more sure. Even I'm small, I feel that fit, nine feet tall person, because that much power we have. But I never showed my power to employ people. That's another beauty about martial art. So, I want you to practice everybody, martial art. It's good for you, good for all, everybody. Peace. Thank you.